communication strategist, Youth for Change Initiative, and also the Nigerian Focal Point for African Network of Young Leaders for Peace and Sustainable Development. Nigeria is an African country with about 65% of youth population. Recently, Nigerian youth were tired of police and just brutality, thereby embarking on NSAS protests, though hijacked by hoodlums and looters, resulting in vandalization of public and private properties and high mortality rate, especially Lucky Toll Gate Open Fire Massacre by the Nigerian Army. Nigeria was also affected by the global pandemic known as COVID-19, which has affected the Nigerian economy through loss of jobs and disruption of businesses, increase in crime rates became order of the day. Total lockdown was uh, implemented to prevent community spread of COVID-19. Interestingly, in the midst of the COVID-19, African network of Young Leaders for Peace and Sustainable Development organized a certified regional webinar tagged African Youth Resilience Initiative Against COVID-19 aimed at engaging youth and civil society in the fight against COVID-19 and pandemics for the resumption of green growth in Africa, which I learned the importance of operationalizing well-nation for nature and people in the fight against COVID-19 and ensuring the continued access to people in need in line with humanitarian principles and recommit to disaster risk reduction for new normal. Second training was post 2020 biodiversity framework and the restoration. My takeaway was how to improve the understanding, engagement and in mobilization of young leaders and civil society for the preparation of the CBD and COP and build the capacity and knowledge of young African leaders to play active roles in the achievement of the CAG accelerated actions. Through this training, we have impacted over 500 active youths through trainings, information, risk reduction information, skill acquisitions to improve individual livelihood. Finally, my advocacy message to the government is that assets be given to a private state youth development fund bill to create a legal framework, self-reliance, independence, sustainable development and equal opportunity for young people to be economically empowered, which I believe is a tool to reduce crime rates and pathway for peace and economic development in our society. Thank you.